Good evening to all of you, all of my friends on YouTube. No flashy entrance today. Just going to show something I'm very proud of. A lot of you who have come to know me know that I am a very, very competitive, goal-driven person. Not a day goes through my life or a week passes by where I'm not thinking about some kind of goal, be it personal, professional, or sports-wise. I'm always working towards improving myself and getting myself to the next level of something. That being said, uh, I'm displaying some balls here in front with some of my career accomplishments. I play ASA softball. I've played all classifications throughout my career. This was my 2000th RBI in July of 08. Shortly after, I had my 2000th career hit, August of 08. There's my 300 home run ball. 400 home runs hit on September 17th, 07, three years ago. And last night, 500 home run ball was hit. Now, I know some people are going to laugh and kind of snicker and be like, oh, you yeah, know, that's recreational softball. It's ASA, you know, big, big deal. C League, D League ball. But uh, for me, it was a goal that I set out to attain. Uh, despite having the Tommy John surgery and the reconstructive shoulder surgery, I've still been able to stay healthy enough to achieve that goal. I'm not going to lay out 600 necessarily because uh, that'll take at least three more years. I'm getting older, so it's going to get harder, and I play less games each year, but 600 is not out of reach. Next up, uh, five years from now, is going to be 3,000 RBIs, 3,000 hits. So um, just wanted to show those because I am proud of that accomplishment. A lot of you have been asking me and supporting me and giving me words of encouragement along the way to get there. Denny, Chris, and Steve, Scott, Jason, a lot of you guys. Uh, so I thank you for that. Now i got some cards to show. And we'll prop this up as the backdrop onto the cards. We've got a mail day from Thornton Fire 3319 and MJ98 just because for the win. I did take the cards out because I didn't want to run out of time. So uh, some nice stuff. We've got some Falcons, Bowman Chrome, Roddy White, Michael Turner. It's a Roddy White classic. A Matt Ryan from Threads that I do not have, number to 249, which is awesome. We've got a Matt Ryan Threads jersey from 09. And a Fabric of the Game from 08. Uh, number to 250. That's very nice of you uh, to send Melvin. And on top of that, this was the card that he had sent. Uh, what did I do with the note he sent with? Yeah, here it is. I misplaced it already. Yo, Sevens, I know you said you already have the Flacco, but I got it with you in mind, so please accept it. Also, a few little things in addition, as always. Keep up the great work. Love always, no homo. Yeah, okay, well, maybe a little. I'd say more than a little. I'm willing to go 37% homo. Melvin. So as you can see, I've been Melvin. There's the autograph. That comment's only going to mean anything to anyone who has ever seen Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure Part 2, where they Melvin death. Uh, he melvin me. But here's the flacco that he sent me. Just an absolutely... Beautiful patch. That's awesome. And yes, I already have one, which is this one here, which is also a three color, but I like the one Melvin sent me better. So I'm going to keep his, and this one I guess I'll put on the trading block or put it up for sale since these things are selling above book value right now. Who knows? Maybe I'll put it out there on eBay. And one of the other two guys that continually drives the price of this set up above book value. Here's a good example. There was a three color Alex Smith out last week. Books for 12 bucks ends up selling for something like 18. Ridiculous. Well, anyways, I found this one somewhere else. Nice three color. Roddy White, uh, three color. Got a decent deal on it. There was a Roddy White Falcon Wing part of the logo. I paid $14 for the Matt Ryan Falcon Wing logo card, 
The Roddy White sold for more than that, and it was one of those two guys just bidding the price up. So go ahead, continue spending all your money. I'll find other ways of getting the cards I need. Maurice Jones Drew, number 25. Nice little three-color patch. And Donald Driver, three-color. Uh, dark green in the corner there, and it's paint or ribbing. Hard to find patch for the Packers. Unless uh, it's just green and white patch, but not as easy to find. Then, I won this for my 2003 Ultimate Collection set. Roy Halladay, Barry Zito. Just a disgusting patch. Part of the Blue Jays logo. And something off of the Oakland A's uh, nameplate, I'm guessing. And I already have this card, but this is an upgrade. So the one I have, which is this one, is also now available for trade or for sale and that's a four color a fine fine patch in itself so there is that so that's all I've got for today I thank you once again it means a lot to me all the support that everybody gives in watching my videos uh, I don't take my subscribers lightly I appreciate each and every person that takes the time to watch videos as I know that it's time consuming and if you find a spot in your day to do that uh, that means a lot so just for now, because I'll be back again soon, I give you the big old 7-7 seven, seven salute.